Triple D. All right, so no platforms here. Um, let's see. That should give a little bit more free reign for Ness, I think. Pretty um, standard blast zones as well, as well. Like, nothing too close or too far away. Right, right, right. And like we see before, Summer Haze is just playing off in the back, throwing out those, uh, those slingshots. And it's, it's interesting, too, because... It's it's an interesting composition, the Ness and the Villager, mm -hmm. but with the Villager staying back and like walling out with uh, with the slingshot, Ness <laughs> with opportunity. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> by all means, do the play-by-play. -play. I'm just I'm just talking. Uh, Ness has probably has a pretty hard time like being the approacher against Diddy and Cloud. That is true. Yeah, Diddy is a definite rushdown character, and it keeps oh, you on your wow. toes. That was a cross stage, but the back throw might. Okay, no a little bit more uh, damage than should be able to. The back are really strong, but also very easy to DI. Mm -hmm. But and the second time will get you. Six of the Earths trying to find some uh, claim on stock as well with that charge uh, cross slash, but it was a cross stage uh, sent the other way. Right now, let's see six. Oh, uh, no. Uno, uh, yeah, Uno recognizing that his partner was a little bit of a trouble, but he left him open to deal with Villager, and that will get a back throw kill for uh, Blazing Pasta. Now they're both kind of ganging up on Ness, and villagers are trying to get over there, but cover their uh, cover their approach with the slingshot. Right, and I do see that Ness is rolling a lot to the edge, and that is dangerous territory because the rolls will definitely lead to a grab right after. But Diddy Kong is just basically playing that game as well, and just keeping yeah. the rolls on. And Cloud has a ton of uh, lasting hitboxes and multi-hit moves that will cover rolls, especially at the edge when you're not really moving. Sure, sure, sure. Blade Bean just to break that up. Hit Uno too, but they'll take that. Yeah. Especially with Ness at 147 still in his first stop. Oh, yeah, true. He's just... And, oh, no, no, but with Rage, that back throw gets really scary. Mm-hmm. Try to go for a combo. That's a little bit mistimed. He was a little bit too low. Try to get the edge guard opportunity, and it just snaps too. All right. It's the bounce. Oh, oh great, great tech, tech. Blazing Pasta! Saved his life. Mm -hmm. And he's still living at 100. And, oh. and there it goes. Commentator first. Yep. <laughs> As, uh, before I even finish the sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the way it goes. Back air will be able. To oh, no. That was an accidental uh, team stop take. Oh, boy. That is not good for blue team. Especially with the percentages of what they are. Going for that back air forward air combo, but Ness wasn't at high enough percent. But that will definitely do it. Limit cross slash with 131% rage. Yeah, great job on, uh, was that, uh, 6WX trying to find uh, Summer Haze through all that mess, and he did uh, eventually find him. And that'll do it. Another back air. Oh, again. He's doing such a great job at finding these grabs. Which can be tough against a character with as much range as Cloud. Yes, that's true. The, the neutral control that Cloud has will be able to at least keep out Summer Haze and uh, uh, Blazing Pasta to do any like large damage that they could potentially get. But it is doubles, so there's going to be a lot more scrambling, so you can kind of yeah just like sneak in there. Try to go for a forward smash, but a great jab, jab from Summer Haze will break uh, 6WX out of that. Jab. Great Hitbox awareness. hit both of them. Mm -hmm. And he does that charge on deck. His uh, opponent was right behind him. Forward smash will take out Summer Haze. Double and kill. Wow. One, two. And that'll leave Blazing Costa by himself. Uh, he has to definitely pressure Uno right now, get him to that 100% that he needs right now. But Cloud is definitely playing the wall right between those two. And uh, that's proven to be very, very tough for Blazing Costa right now. And Cloud can absolutely play that wall out role between Blade Beam and just how big his sword is. Yep. But he is at a 107, but that on stage PK missile. Didn't snap. Mm. And the juggles. Oh, it's and a finishing touch. Oh, wait, he's living wow. through. 58%. It looked like it was sending them out. You now he's got to play the most neutral game right now. Banana throw. Trying to get, yeah, rolling back, trying to get to that grab to the ledge. So neutral, the pH is exactly seven. 
falling right in the middle. That's not a good option because that pressure from neutral and then just a rush down from uh, Uno could. And now Cloud has limit with 89%. Pretty much anything he does will do it. Yeah, if he does get a grab, he can just throw out a blade beam and that should be able to, uh, if you're close enough to that edge there, it should be able to claim on this. Even though it might take out his teammate as well. With that grab and he breaks, breaks out. out. Great breakout from Pasta. Not a second time though. Just oh, wow. great air dodge from Blazing Pasta, avoiding the entirety of that finishing touch. And now Cloud has to get limit again. Wow. Pasta is playing out of his mind oh, right now, wow. but oh. the banana up smash setup. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they were both Easy. being sent out. Oh uh, yeah. We would have loved to see a, a comeback. Uh, they call me. Call Ivan. Me Ivan. Oh, I know that guy. Okay, I, there you go. If I think, I, I think so. <laughs> if it's the same guy, I think I know him from the uh, the Captain Falcon Discord. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, it it would have been nice to see a comeback, but uh, yeah, just Blue Team just had a pretty, uh, just amazing control of just pretty much the neutral and just, even though the Blazing Pasta and Summer Haze trying to wall out with just all those projectiles, uh, uh, Uno and 6 bx were just rushing in and not letting them do any of that. And, and it's and it's interesting too because um, Blazing Pasta and, and Summer Haze were did I get that right? I'm still kind of like Blazing learning. Pasta Summer Haze. Okay, yeah. Blazing Pasta Summer Haze. I was still uh, I was, um, for characters that you know don't really you don't think of them as having a ton of survivability. They were both living to pretty high percents. Yeah, they were. Which is impressive against characters with kill power like Cloud and Diddy. True, true, true. Yeah, and it did come down to last stock and fairly high percentages. Uh, mm -hmm for that uh, round one, but okay, we're running back to final back to D. FD. True run back. Uh, let's see. In terms of gameplay, I think they just need to be slightly more aware of when the blue team is rushing in, because they are playing the wall game fairly well. Yep. But like I said before, the blue team is just uh, keeping the pressure on very close, and uh, their, wall their walling game isn't really uh, shining as much as it could be. And keeping Cloud and Diddy apart because you know, Diddy has so many setup moves and Cloud has so many strong killing moves. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like this team synergy for the blue team is really well. We saw how many throw combos they had or at least throw setups uh, that they tried to do. And just on paper too, before you account for the fact that it is 6WX and... Uh, <laughs> That's true as well. And uh, 6 wx trying to stage. find ways to toss it, looking for an edge guard opportunity, trying to throw out that cross slash, does it a little too early though. Great job waiting for Blazing Pasta, but 6WX will be able to take out on his teammate Summer Haze. Right now they are trying to control the neutral a little bit more, especially Blazing Pasta, who is the nest, who has a fairly easier job controlling neutral. But uh, Six W X and Uno have had the the better of the stage control so far, and they're taking stocks for it. Mm -hmm. so, you know, comes in with the flip kick, gets a grab throw, not just enough. I'm, he did have 103. I'm surprised why didn't that didn't send him farther back. Mm -hmm. Pressure situation, but the oh, just throwing up that cross slash. Try to catch anybody. Ooh. The, I think that was only a double turnip, but the, it'll still get Cloud. Yeah, that was great. And Diddy, double kill. Very nice, and uh, they are at fairly high percentages, but, you know, just a couple combos from uh, these two, and it should be able to turn around. Yep. Yeah, Blue Team's still with the the lead, technically, but, you know, it's it's doubles and with Rage and things like that. Now they don't have this. <laughs> exactly. I'm really batting a thousand on the, the whole commentary uh, thing. It happens. You just oh, roll yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though uh, Uno was pressured by both green team there, he was just throwing out a good amount of moves and just racked up damage. Fairly untouched as well. His dash attacks just get, keeping a good job of keeping Cloud away. Great job baiting out that air dodge. But uh, Uno was there to stop him. A double up B will get him back. Oh, the bowling ball almost coming Ooh, through, but wow. he is still too low. Those turnups accidentally takes his teammate yeah. out though. And now they have to take basically at least at two stocks and change. Uh, they definitely have the potential to do it though, especially with uh, Ness trying to find his way to Diddy Kong right now. Yeah. Just have to do the, the same thing where you separate them and take them on one by Potentials one. Potentials right here. Oh, went for a short hop neutral instead of the grab. Now 
now they are just juggling him. Someone nice throw through. will kill. Finally. All right. But he is sitting at 103, and uh, Cloud does have his uh, charge up. So get, there it is, the cross slash coming through. And takes wow. a cross stage. And so just, strong. Just like before, Blazing Costa is by himself. Uno putting a very good job with these bananas. Juicing it for the jump because, yeah, the banana wasn't exactly on the ledge there. So many catches with this banana. Right now, uh, 6WX is controlling the ground game while uh, Uno is playing the... Sorry, Uno is playing the aerial game while 6WX is playing the ground game. If, uh, uh, you know, just break it up. Yep. Just get it clean. Get it clean. Grabberly's throw... Uh, <laughs> Grabberly's combos are just... Easy peasy 2v1. Yeah, and uh, that was a valiant effort from uh, Blazing Pasta trying to hold on. And, uh, you know, it did come down, like we said before, to last stock situation. But uh, Blue Team just had they were just weren't having any of that uh wall game that uh they were trying to throw out in them and uno and 6wx will be advancing to winners